hello, Carolina. How you doing? Let's go ahead and jump right in, shall we? I've got you open right here. Okay, outstanding um, illustrations. Really fantastic. Um, color scheme looks good, but I think this monochromatic scheme could, uh, well, generally monochromatic, you have some other colors in there, but we're basically at a monochromatic color scheme here. And I think the addition of some colors, specifically some colors from the complement of blue, which of course would be in a much warmer um, temperature. I think that that useful, like for, for example, using red and orange to depict the fire underneath the pot. And I'll get into that all in one second, but I just want to mention that the, I, I do think that we can push color here a little bit to add a little bit more engagement. Um, specifically, as I said, think about complements, think about your color rules um, as they apply to color theory in the application of engaging presentation of color. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, actual instructions and then we'll take a look and we'll just kind of compare and see where we're at. Okay, so we have one cup of rolled oats. This doesn't look like a cup, all right? This should be used as a, 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 a terminal indication of measure, meaning that this should be a cup. One cup is one cup. This should be filled with oats indicating one cup of oats, right? Now, over here, we've got two cups of water, milk, or a combination of both. Right here, you're showing a carton of milk and a carton of milk. How do we know that's a cup? We don't. So I would recommend using the same cup measurer. This time you're showing milk only. You're not showing water or a combination of both. So I, so use a cup, show a cup of water and a cup of milk and or a combination or actually say and a combination of both. OK, then at that point, you could show the cup of um, oats being poured in along with the cup of milk and a cup of water after you indicate that it could, it can be uh, milk, water, or a combination of both, all right? At that point, I would recommend to, to show, since you're defining that it could be both, show just two cups of milk, or I'm sorry, a, a cup of milk and a cup of water, all right? That way, the pre-definition of, of, of milk, water, or both can be substituted here by the, the viewer understanding that it could be both, so they will mentally um, make the substitution. But you need to show the cup of oats being poured in, the cup of water being poured in, the cup of milk being poured in, the predefined definition of water, milk, or both will be showed right here, shown right here. So I, again, I think the, the, the visual substitution will be made by the viewer if this is effectively set up. Okay, at that point, we have, and this can be combined with this, as we can add the liquid and oats together at the same time, okay? Now, once they're in, we bring it to a simmer. We're not showing that here at all. We're not showing any heat at all anywhere, okay? So we need to show heat down here. We need to show, bring to a simmer stirring frequent. We need to show heat under the pot, a little flame. We need to show the temperature. Okay, so we know it's a simmer and not a boil. So maybe a, a thermometer that's more towards the bottom of the, the, the gauge or even a, uh, a dial on the, the stove that's pointing to low as opposed to medium or high. Okay, that'll indicate the simmer. This indicates stirring frequently. All right, at that point, once the oats begin to soften, you can add your, your flavors, your flavorings. Okay, that's salt. Um, that's good. That's good. However, these are kind of not recognizable at this. I, I think the spatial relationship here, the honey's too small, the salt's kind of small. All the, the, the little black dots in the, the salt actually indicate pepper. So I would indicate salt on that. Okay. Um, and then butter. So I think these individual little illustrations can be made to be a little bit more prominent, a little bit bigger, giving them a little more hierarchy in their relationship to pouring the ingredients into the pan. At that point, we simmer and stir for 10 to 20 minutes. This is showing 15 minutes. It's not showing simmer. It's not showing stirring. So we need to, and this basically looks like you're supposed to let it sit there for 15 minutes. But in reality, we need to show that it's on simmer um, show the temperature, show the, the flame, show the stirring frequently, and show 10 to 20 minutes here, not 15 minutes. All right, at that point, you can pour the ingredients. I would also introduce at this point the supplemental toppings, the goodies, all right? Then, so you would show bananas, blueberries, and strawberries over here. Then we can see that they're added to the end, okay? So just a couple of minor tweaks here, but... Um, 
Um, I, again, want to say the illustrative technique is fabulous, fabulous. But think about how the introduction of additional colors to this basic monochromatic scheme will incre increase um, the visual engagement associated. So think of your, your primary hue as blue, think complementary, and how can we uh, uh, introduce warmer colors to kind of warm this, this composition up a little bit, as right now it's very, very much on the cool side of the, um, <clears throat> of the temperature gauge, of the uh, uh, color temperature. Okay, uh, any questions at all, please let me know. A fantastic start, and uh, yeah, any, anything at all, please let me know. I'll make any necessary clarifications. Thank you very much.